Day forecast. Could you guys hear the rattle of the rattlesnake? Ooh, okay, I'm, all, I'm as far in the corner as can humanly be possible right now. It is a favorite for many, a fear for some like me. We are talking about snakes, rattlesnakes, getting ready for the op rattlesnake rodeo. What's really funny though is even our experts here, they're backing away in the corner too. We have Bobby over there. He's snake handler. We got Pam and Joni. Does a rattlesnake have a name? No, we haven't named it. We're going to allow you to name it. Oh, uh, well, he's, he's looking right at me. So, so uh, Deanna, our producer, said his name's going to be Deanna. But we are talking not about our fear. We're talking about the rodeo. Pam, a lot of rodeos happen in our state. Yes. This one, for obvious reasons, is special. Yes. Ob we have com something completely different at our rodeo. We have rattlesnakes. Uh, and our snake handlers are wonderful. We do educational snake shows and snake races. So if you've never seen a rattlesnake race, you should come and see us. This not coming, not this weekend, but next. The you, you may see a race in here if I have to run exactly. for this thing because he is, he is staring me down. He sure is. Right now. Y'all have been doing this for 60 years. 63 years. 63 years. years. Yes. It is a tradition. How did, how did it start in Op, Alabama, of all places? Well, we had, a, we had a gentleman named J.P. Jones that just loved exotic animals, and we were having, we had some hunters that were getting their, their dogs were getting bit, and he started capturing them, and then everybody loved looking at them, and it just went from there and grew. Bobby, how did you get involved in all this? I was friends with the uh, mayor, and he asked me what I considered doing this, so I've been doing it for 20 years with Joni, like all rodeos, so many different events, pageants, music. We what's, have, a, what's an event that stands out to you? So we do the uh, Miss Op Rattlesnake Rodeo Pageant. We just had that two weeks ago. Um, and then we have the 5K race every year. Everybody gets up at 7 o'clock in the morning and runs the 5K. Um, we have the concerts and the snake races. The snake races are my favorite. Um, everybody, our local businesses get to sponsor a snake and um, we get to see who comes out on top after the event's over with. Do people actually try to run like I'm trying to run right now at a snake race? Or is, it's all about the snakes. It's all about the snakes. <laughs> so yes. one that, an event that always stands out to me every year on the agenda for the Op Rattlesnake Rodeo, snake cooking. Yes, yes. We do have fried rattlesnake meat. So. How do you eat? Is it just bits? Is it? No, it's a, it'll be a piece, and it'll have okay. to do it very carefully. It does have its bones in it, um, and it kind of eat it about the same way you would eat a fresh piece of fish that still had its bones in it. You just real carefully, we fry it up and serve it with a piece of light bread. Bobby, what's your favorite part about the rodeo each year? Well, was feeling with the snakes <laughs> and meeting the people. I enjoy meeting people. What about the kids? You said that you have educational events and parts of it for the kids. What's your favorite part about working with the little ones when it comes to the rodeo? So we, we just love seeing the looks on their faces. Um, you know, they're a little bit terrified, <laughs> but they're mostly very intrigued in it. And I'm sure uh, Bobby could tell you more about that. But when I go down there, that's what you see. They're, they're, they're caught between being terrified and also being very curious about, yeah. about it. So. As we are. As, yes. like, like us grown-ups. <laughs> yeah, yes, as, as yeah. our snake friend is, is Deanna is her name. <laughs> okay. 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 Is moving, moving around over there. Bobby, what is your favorite part about the educational side of the Rattlesnake Rodeo? Trying to explain it to the, the especially the kids, you know, because we have lots of questions. You know, every year is always a new question, a new person. And so it's just really educational to teach your kids not to go touch the snakes. You know. Now I hear that rattle, Bobby. I'm going to ask you a question. What does that mean when you hear that noise? That's a sign of warning you, letting you know that they're closed. Oh, well, he doesn't have to warn me. I can, I'll let <laughs> you know. further back. No worries. No worries, friend. <laughs> if, if you hear that, stop where you're at and look around. Make sure you're not fixing a step on it. But if you leave them alone, they're pretty much going to leave you alone. 63. 63 years, correct. 63 years. Do you hear, when people find out about this, maybe for the first time in 60 plus years, do people drive from all over? Oh yeah, they do. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Bobby was just saying that he's, he's met a people from many states yeah. throughout the years. We've had people from the UK, um, a lot of people in Birmingham area, you know, Huntsville comes down, but um, it, it's, it's just something different. You don't see this every day. You don't hear about a rodeo mm -hmm. involving yeah. snakes. And then whether, whether you're terrified or not, they're fascinating creatures, they are. right? Absolutely. When you yeah. when you brought the snake out in the hallway just now before we were on air, a whole crowd of people came around to take pictures and video. There's absolutely. just something fascinating, and they're absolutely about beautiful creatures. I mean, they yeah. are beautiful. They are. They're they're 
deadly, but they are beautiful. And it's not something you see in a newsroom every day. It's it, it, is, it is not. It's definitely not something you see when you think of rodeo. You usually think of horses, cows. Right, you, don't, right. you don't think of rattlesnakes. So that's what makes this extra special down in up. This is a kid-friendly event. You all say this every single year. The 22nd this year through the 24th. Yes, lots of musical entertainment events mm -hmm. for the kids. But most important details, if people want to come out, do they need to buy tickets in advance and how can they do that? They can buy tickets in advance at eventbrite.com, but we will be selling tickets at the gates at well. Okay, do you usually sell out? I know for the musical no, performances. We at, do not. Not, okay, good, 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 good. I know the musical performances are kind of popular. Now, our out VIP there too. sections will sell out, okay. but as far as general admission, we usually are good. Okay, so you can yeah. buy those tickets in advance on Eventbrite or just show up this year yes. for the annual 63rd Angle Op Rattlesnake Rodeo down in Op. March 22nd through the 24th. It's coming yes, up very soon. And our friend who we've named Deanna for now <laughs> will be there along with Bobby and Pam and Joni as well. Y'all, thank you so much for joining us here on Alabama Live and putting up with Sally and her fears as she <laughs> ran away before we got this interview started. We appreciate y'all so thank much. Thank you for having us. Thank you for having us.